do some lettering in an irregular shape, we're going to start a new area. We're going to add text, and then we're going to, have to do an irregular shape template. We're going to come over here and we're going to choose the irregular template and make sure that what size lettering you have before you, you select this. This is done at a half inch. If you want to move your sides, you can move them up. You can grab corner, move them down. If you right click on the center node one time, this is going to change your line to straight. If you right click twice, you're going to now going to get a shape of a curve. You can still continue to move these in any angle that you want on each side. The side nodes do, do not have a function in this. Once you get the shape that you want, you're going to explode your text. Once your text is exploded, you'll select the entire area and then you can uh, hold your shift key down and do it to scale or you can resize here and then hit enter after you make your resizing. Now if you want it to be if you want it to be proportional make sure your lock has been chosen oh I'm gonna explode again make sure that your lock is in place change your size and it'll be proportionate if you don't want proportionate there you go that's all there is to it if your text is um, not regenerating or, or regenerating you do have to make sure that your down arrow here it's regenerating now if you want it to automatic generate after every time you, you move a node, then you're going to choose automatic generate. If you want to reprocess all, control 9 or process all. If you want to have the ability to move points around without auto regenerating, then you're going to make sure that that is off. Automatic generate is not highlighted. If you want it to automatically generate after every point is moved, make sure it's chosen. Okay, that's it.